Hello and welcome back. In this question, we need to calculate the Young's modulus for this deal by utilizing this load extension graph. Now, there are two things that we need to make sure of. The first thing is the units. Now, since the area is given to me in millimeter squared, I will only work with millimeters and the force which is given in kilonewtons needs to be converted to newtons. The second thing is, is that this is a load extension graph, not a stress strain graph. So your loads you'll need to convert to your stresses and your extensions you'll need to convert to your strains. Now there are two methods for doing this question and I'll explore both. So with method one, we need to calculate Young's modulus. So I know that modulus of elasticity is equal to stress over strain. And I know that stress is equal to force over area. So they've given me the area, I can find my force. Now the force we need to use is any force that's within this elastic region here. So I'm going to select a nice point, which is right here. So the force we're going to be using is 20 kilonewtons, which I need to convert to newtons. So that becomes 20,000 newtons over the area, which is given to us in the question, and that's 100 millimeters squared. And that gives me an answer of 200 megapascals. Which brings me to my next point. If we have newtons per millimeter squared, we get our answer in megapascals. And if we have our answer in newtons per meters squared, we get our answer in pascals. Okay, now that I've found my stress, I now need to find my strain. So I know that my strain is equal to extension over original length. And the extension at this 20 kilonewton force is if we take it down there, we get one millimeter. So that's equal to one over a thousand and twenty. And strain has no unit. So now we just need to substitute those values into our modulus of elasticity equation. And that's 200 divided by one over 1020. And that gives me an answer of 204,000 megapascals. So now they want the answer in gigapascals. So when we convert megapascals to gigapascals, we're going from a small unit to a big unit. So we divide uh, megapascals is 10 to the 6, gigapascals is 10 to the 9. You look at the difference. So we divide it by 10 to the power of 3. So therefore, it's going to be 204,000 divided by 10 to the power of 3, which gives you a value of 204 giga pascals now our second method is a much easier and shorter method where we can just employ this equation where e is equal to flea the big e is young's modulus the f is the force l is the original length e is the extension and a is the cross-sectional area so young's modulus is equal to so again we're going to use this point there so 20 kilonewtons so that's 20,000 newtons times the original length, which is 1020, over the extension at that point, which is one millimeter, times that by the area 100, put that in the calculator and you get 204,000 megapascals. Don't forget we're dealing here with newtons and millimeters squared and millimeters. So we're gonna get our answer in megapascals. Then converting this again to gigapascals, so we just divide this by a thousand and we get Young's modulus to be 204 giga pascals. So to sum up, units are extremely important to getting this question right. This is a load extension graph, so we need to convert our load extension values to stresses and strains, and then utilizing the correct equations, we can then find the answer.